program is classified M and is closed captioned. We recommend viewing by a mature audience 15 years and over. Fox A. One city. Two contestants. Three hours. The game is controlled by one man. He calls the shots. He rings the phone. Would you pick up? Isn't it funny? You hear a phone ring and it could be anybody. But a ringing phone has to be answered, doesn't it? Stu, I'm 25. I don't really do much for a living. I work at General Pants like two nights a week. Um, I go to uni, I do marine biology at uni, and I surf, yeah, every day. Bartender. Um, I like the nightlife. I like to tan on the beach. Um, I consider myself to be a bit of a goose. I'm a bit of an idiot, but at the same time, I'm pretty fun. I was standing out there for ages, and I was I was pretty. It was pretty cool because I could see I could see the surf, and I was like, oh, it's pretty good today. And I was like, oh, what am I doing up here? Alana, in front of you, there's a map of the rooftop next door. Yep. Now, listen carefully. It pinpoints an envelope that you need in order to start the game. You don't have access. But if you yell loud enough, someone on the rooftop can help you find it. Yep. Oi! Oi, D! Oi! I was just like, oi, dude! I was like, what are you doing? And he, like, looked up. And then all of a sudden, this random chick, like, starts shouting at me. And I was like, far out. I didn't know who it was. I was like, she's kind of cute, though. But I was like, I don't know. Like, what am I meant to do? Yeah, the envelope. I oh, did. Ah. The envelope's on the other side, on the left part. Oh, I 
Meet me down the grass circles on Circle on Cav. Yep. OK, bye. <laughs> What's up? What's up? I'm I was like, what the hell's going how on? Hi, how are you? Yeah, and Alana came up to me and I'm like, oh, shit, who's this chick? And I just thought she was like some random in the game. I got a photo of this guy. Yeah. I don't know who he is. Yep. <laughs> what he is. So you're like helping me, are you? You're helping me. He's like, oh, are you playing to me? And I was like, this is my show, OK? <laughs> is that your phone or my phone? <laughs> oh, yeah, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, Alana, welcome to my game. To win, you need to find four of these. They're memory cards. They reveal where I've left the briefcase of cash. Now, the location of your first memory card is with my assistant, Mr. Little Boy. You have a photo, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, and uh, be nice to him. He's feeling a little bit fragile this morning. Like me. <laughs> All right, let's find this dude. All right. Is this him here? Is that him? Yeah, that's him. No, no, no. Do you reckon? It could be. No, he's always got like a right head. Do you have a thing for me? A tube? Sorry? Nothing. No, it's not in the way. Look, the guy's like. <laughs> How funny. Sorry, bro. All good. The worst thing is, right? Everyone is bald these days. There was a guy coming out of IJ, bald. There was a guy coming out of the other entrance, bald. How many guys have shaved heads down here? Everyone's got a shaved head. Is that? That could be. Where? This could be the dude, but he's just got a wig on. Bro, what's going on? Hey. Hi. That's him for sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. Have a big night. Have a big night, brother. It's a big night. What's going on? Uh, we need you. Have you something key, for man. me. Got a key. Unlock me, man. Yeah. I'm me, yeah. Do you have keys? I'm gonna get married today, man. I'm Hello? As you can see, things got a little bit crazy at Mr. Little Boy's Bucks Night. Is that it? Tell him he's a prick. <laughs> man up, little boy. Now, to find the first memory card, you actually need to unlock him. The location <laughs> is tattooed to the inside of his wrist. The thing is, <laughs> well, we left the key to the handcuffs at the minus five bar in a really obvious spot. Now, you have exactly eight minutes to get it before the police arrive and Mr. Little Boy is, uh, removed. Let's go. Yeah, it's just here. Oh, it's up here, it's up here, it's up here. Hey, man, we left the key in here somewhere. The key for us. Come on, bro, we just need, we need a key We need a key. Uh, I'm a local, the locals, very normal. Hello. Hello. I just went down the road. It's in a really obvious spot. It's in a really obvious spot. He said it's in a key. Oh, I'm like, yeah. I'm like hanging up. Oh. Do you guys hang your keys up anywhere? Obviously, oh, obviously. Okay, hold the key. Hold up on the bar. Up on the bar. Oh, this bar's freezing. We got like eight minutes, eh? Hey? Minus five was bullshit though, because we went in there thinking that it was like in this obvious spot. So I was running around. Minus five, ripping all the chairs off the seats, like just, just like ruining, like taking all the place apart. Hi, Stu. What's going on, mate? You said it was in an obvious spot. It is. You're in an ice bar, buddy. Maybe a block of ice would be a good start. Look in the mask opposite the bar. This has cost you two grand, Stu. Okay, okay, okay. It's behind the mask. We lost two grand, because of it? It was worth it because I seriously would have stood in there all day and been like, I can't find this key. You gotta what? chip the shit out of this, hey? <laughs> Gotta get that one. Then still after that though, it took like ten minutes because the key's like in this block of ice and you have to chisel it. <laughs> it's just crazy. Get him, get him. There it is. Oh yeah, 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 okay, you go, no, you go. Got it. Let's go. We're like, yeah, we gotta get out of here because we were go. in there for so long. <laughs> Oh my god, my legs are like tingling. <laughs> hey, it's not a secret, it's just never a good idea to tell women more than they need to know. How come? Because we love them and want to protect them. A clueless woman is a happy woman. 
all new two and a half men tonight. Life on the street, weeknights 10.30 on Triple One Hits. Tani. Think you know who should win? Help Sarah and the judges decide by SMSing Cassie or Tani to 1999 Fox 8. Or look out for the top model icon and press red. We need your help, so get voting. My catwalk is way better than hers. I'm taller than her. Join me at the live final. I'll be there. With the hottest names in fashion, live performances, special appearances from all the finalists and big surprises. Australia's next top model, the live finals. Tuesday, 7.30. Exclusive to Fox 8. Yeah, sorry, bro. I thought it was dreaming. Oh. Okay. What are you guys doing? What's that? Yeah. It's got a sea world stamp. Yeah, all right. So we've got. So you have something for us? Do you have anything for us, man? Do you have a car or anything? I've got a car. Yeah? I've no, got don't a car. Do you have a tube? I don't know. Hey! Don't hey. you have a tube? No, no. <laughs> Nice job with the groom, guys. Now he can move on to more important matters, like getting married this afternoon. Yeah. Now, outside the Soclon Cavill, I've organised a town car. My driver would take you to SeaWorld to get your first memory card. And remember, without the memory cards, you won't be able to find the briefcase of cash. This could be really fun, like SeaWorld. We're both palm type. It's kind of cool. ran down into the fish tank and there was all the sharks and I was like, don't stop looking at them, we are, we're wasting time. Good. You made it here. You can, you can see, see your, your first, first memory card in the tank, tank, yeah? To get it, one of you is going to have to get a little wet. I'll do it. All right. Upstairs, you'll find one of the SeaWorld guys. They'll sort you out with some gear. But you might want to hurry, because the box isn't waterproof. I think it was shit in the study room, What are we going upstairs? We could see the where the um, SIM card was in the tube, in the fish tank. And that's when he said over the thing, he's like, oh, one of you's are going to have to get a bit wet. He didn't even get halfway through the sentence and Stuart's like... Oh, I'll do it for sure because, I, you know, I'd, I'd study that and stuff. I was like, this go, this will be cool. And Lana's like, oh, yeah, OK, cool, Stuart, you go. <laughs> I was like, all right. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> sure. I'm going to go down there and watch her. So I ran back down and, like, without even anyone talking to me or anything, I looked down and I saw this fish on the floor with numbers and I was like, yep, that's it, the code. They don't even have to tell me. I've got it straight away. Shark is so scary. It's just sick. I was punching it in for ages. I was like, oh, this thing's screwed. Oi! Hello? You've nailed it. The box is locked. Not sure if you're right on how to get it open, though. I saw some fishes there, and they've got numbers on it. You should know by now, the game isn't that easy. The codes are wrong. Head back down, I'll be in touch. Tell Stu, you both got it wrong. I'll tell you, there's a different one. Alana, there's actually four fish with numbers you need to find. Add them all up, 
and you'll have the right code. You listening? Yep. Good. You and Stu have two minutes to get that box unlocked before the park opens to the public and you get kicked out. Yep. One hundred and ninety two thousand and ten. Come on, come down. Look at me. Hello. Three, nine, one. Zero. Three, nine, one, zero. I knew it was going to be something like that. So while I was doing the code at all times, like, I knew there was just, like, it's like five, six-foot sharks swimming behind me, but I couldn't do anything about it. Like, I was just like, I suck it up and just do it. Like. So we got the first memory card. We were so stoked, but that's the thing with, like, the money and all that. We weren't, we weren't, we weren't thinking about the money at all, cos, like, what had just happened and what he did, I was like, oh, my God, like, it's just a start. What's going to happen next? I'm sure I just got a message or something. Yeah, you got a message. to the park and find me. Okay, it looks like a bus, a yellow, something <laughs> yellow. It could be a little mini bus. This is intense. Work out, Rolana. <laughs> yellow, yellow. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> Do you want to drive? Yeah, I'll drive. <laughs> what is it, manual? Yeah, it's stick. You know, I can't drive stick. <laughs> Clue to your second memory card will drive by the corner of Apple Street and Clifford Street off Remembrance Drive in 12 minutes. Be there to meet it and pay the price. A clue. To... Indy, so we have to go. Hey, hold on. Um, yeah, I know where. A clue to your second memory card will drive by the corner. So they could be on like a billboard or something on a on like a van. It was such a hard clue. Alana guessed it straight away. She was like, it's going to be mobile advertising of some sort. <laughs> Grab all our shit. Well, this one, this is Clifford and Allison Street. So it's going to be coming from that way, or I don't know. Okay, your second memory card is in a spot where a lot of people go, but they, when they arrive, they want to leave again. <laughs> okay, a lot of people want to go, but when they get there, they want to leave. It's like something in surface, and it's like it'd be real shit. Like if it's famous, but it's shit. Maybe. Maybe it's up top of Q1, because yeah. everyone wants to go there, but once they get up the top, they like, because it's pretty high up there, and they shit themselves and want to go back. I reckon, because we're close to it, it has to be Q1. It's Q1. Do you reckon it's Q1? Yeah, I reckon yeah. it's Q1. So we started running across the road there and running into the Q1, and then I was like, wait a minute, like, this isn't enough. I don't think it is. No, it can't be here. It might be in surfers. I know, that's a hard clue. No idea where the memory card is. I don't know. The Q1, maybe? Well, you're going to the wrong place. <laughs> I kind of banked on that, so I left some help nearby. Look for another sign. Yeah, another sign. But I'd step on it, though. I've got a wedding to get to today. Exactly 
Seven minutes, I'll take the memory card away. Now, off you go. Ghost, keep your eyes peeled, it's very close. Hey, a hey, memory hey. card. <laughs> okay, find the X, use the measuring wheel, and then travel 10.5 meters south. Okay, 10.5 south, 24.2 meters west. Maybe <laughs> I should just steal the sign. Go. Just rip it. Yeah, let's just take it. <laughs> yeah, All right. Grab it. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll carry this on. You didn't think. Okay, so where am I going? So you're going south 10.5 metres. How do I know where south is? This is south. So 10 point... 10.5 metres. Yeah, we're going up here. It's just to the corner. No, this metres. one. 10.5 metres. And then what does it say? Yeah, then we go 24 west. So here. Up here. Pulled the sign down. It had like, oh, you got to go... 27 metres north, blah, blah, blah. And then I could see, like, one of them little wheelie things that count the metres. So we grabbed that and we started doing what it said and what Des said didn't get us anywhere. We were just looking in either direction going, um, this is even going to get us to, like, a real destination. Mm -hmm. No, right. west is that way. Because a westerly wind comes from that way. Fuck. And we're down here. Yeah, fuck. We're over the road. Wait. So then we got a cross here and it goes right? Right, yeah, well, right is here, isn't it? OK, so we've come across the road and gone west. 17. Yeah, 17.5 metres must just be from there to here. Must be from there to here. We one. have to dig into this. This barrier thing with, like, dirt in the middle and this shovel, but it was, like, perfect. We dug the dirt patch and we wasted heaps of time there. Yeah, we meant to go north heaps. <laughs> Look, 71 I metres... I that's what I just read there. Dolly. 71 metres north. We just stuffed up some dude's shit. How <laughs> <laughs> about 70 metres? <laughs> and it says, look. No, but then it says look, so there's something up here. And it's oh yeah. There. Yeah, a hammer. A hammer. Oh, hey. <laughs> Fuck it. That's a dude. That's a dude. That's a dude. That's a guy who's on the screen. I know. Why did we be running to him? We need to find something. Yo. Stu. I saw you. You're in the Hummer. You're in the red Hummer. You just... We saw you and waved. You didn't do anything. Yeah. Well, I'm a bit busy, mate. We caught you. We had you. Stu, you didn't have me at all. In fact, <laughs> you didn't even get the memory card, mate. To find out how to get to your third memory card, you're going to have to do me a little favour. What's that? In a lapse of judgement, I gave my spare VIP any pass away and I need you to get it back. It's with the meter mate in Cavill Moor, near the beach. OK. Now, make it quick, though. I'm in a hurry. And it pays to keep me happy, yeah? OK. OK, cool. Do you know where Cavill Moor is? Yep. There's a meter so. mate there with a VIP. Yeah. Oh, so the beach end. OK. Hi! Hi. Do you have something for us? And we went up to the meter mates, you know what I mean? We were all like, oh, we've got to do this straight away. And even if other dudes were talking to meter mates, I was like, move over, boys. Like, don't worry about that. Like, you can have this, but I've run out of change, so I need a dollar's worth of 20 cent coins before you can have my random mini pass. Yeah, okay. Hello, can I please borrow 20 cents? No, boys, you don't have to spare 20 cents, yeah? Oh, excuse me. Do you guys have spare 20 cents on you? Oh, no. 
Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks so much. <laughs> oh, we got too much. How many did you get? I got four. We made money. Oh, yeah. sweet. Thank you. There you go. These are in the past. Oh, wait. Um, he left these for you. Oh. And Pete. Thank you. There you go. All right, cool. I think his car's up. BMW. All right, BMW. Yeah. Yeah, go. Thank you. What the fuck is this for? <laughs> Get lost. What is it? Is, is it, it a manual? manual? One minute, little boy. Uh, I'm driving, I'm driving. Hello. How did you go with my Indy pass? Yeah, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. I don't suppose she gave you some car keys and a belt? Yes, yeah, she did, yeah. Awesome. I love that belt. Now, you can use my card to get to your next memory card. you find an address in the glove box. Glove box, glove box. But leave that indie pass in the car. This isn't a game of charity. Now, hop to it. The groom and I have got some business to take care of. Let's go, little boy. Play me. I know. <laughs> When the bell rings, these contenders go. It's all on the line. Fox Eight. Hello. 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 Play me. The groom and me are on a traditional skydive before he gets hitched. Last taste of freedom and all that. I'm about to drop your third memory card somewhere on the ground. To find out where, solve the riddle I've left on the fence at the airport. Now, my mate Archie, he's going to meet you at the airport. Show you the ropes. Little boy. Let's go, chat. Oh, why can I go here? Go get on the highway. When we got in that car, I was so excited. Me and him were just absolutely laughing oh, our heads off. I was like, oh, my God. And, like, everyone was kind of looking at it. I was like, yeah, this is my car. Like, we were just posing for a bit. Once we got on the highway, it was so funny. Everyone was just like, who are these guys? Like, yeah. <laughs> With skydiving, oh my god, like I really want to do it, but I was kind of that's when I got a bit nervous. I was like, oh shit. I was pumped, like I was like, let's do this, I just wanted to go. Yeah, there's something on that fence there. Left a clue for you. Cool. Ah! Okay, your third memory card is not on one of three beaches. The beaches are colour coded. The yeah, memory... it is on. It's on one of the. The memory card cannot be found on a colour that is not part of the extreme cricket uniform. So it can't be found on a colour that is not part. So. Or is part. Is not. So, are you... so yellow. So it must. Be. It Do you reckon? Be yeah, because if not. If it was the other one, there'd be two choices. Yeah, that's so, too much, yeah. So, so it's yellow. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yellow beach. Yellow beach? Yep. Cool. Let's go, guys. Shoes <laughs> on. <laughs> this is so scary. Cool. <laughs> scared. <laughs> we hoped we got the right beach as well because there were the riddle was kind of complicated. It had like two knots in it, and but I was pretty sure I was right. We didn't want to land and then there was nothing there, so it just would have been a waste of time. But at the same time, like, I was like, yes, skydive, and so stoked anyway. Cool. I've got some goggles so here for you, really teammate. Really yeah. Cool. yeah, otherwise your eyeballs will fly at the side of your head. Let's go. Don't start up, Nick, Sam. 
So I'm starting to get nervous now. Of course I'm nervous. I'm not the only one. You better jump out of the plane, mate. You should be there. <laughs> when we got up, I was like, oh, are we jumping out now? They're like, nah. This is like, the other guys are like, nah, this is like a tenth of the way up. We both look at each other like, holy shit. Like, I'm shitting it now. <laughs> well, I think he tries to act like a bit of a man. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm not scared. But I could kind of see when we got to the top, he was kind of shitting the gear a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I was so scared. You pick up so much speed, it's crazy. Jumping out of plane, yeah, for sure, it's something you're going to remember your whole life. So, I mean, you both do it together. Like, you obviously have that in common. <laughs> Dude, get the phone, get the phone, get the phone. <laughs> Hello? I hope you guys are doing better than us. The jump didn't go according to plan for little boy. He's done his knee. So while I work out how the hell I'm going to get him to the chapel, I need you to take care of another issue for me. My car is being driven back for you. It's parked nearby. I need you to get down to Main Beach. I'll explain later. Yeah! Oh, My balls are squished <laughs> so bad. Drive! Shit, yeah. is there a roof on this thing? Yep, how can you pop it? Shit, should we? Maybe it's just a quick shower. Lucky, lucky we skydived when we did because there's this huge storm coming over and we were just trying to race it on the way back, but it pretty much caught us. Like, it's just like black clouds everywhere. It just started hammering down, raining. I was like, oh my God, my hair. Hello? Alana, when you guys arrive, have a look in the boot. <laughs> I've left something for you. Oh, okay. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> we have to follow Yeah, they're, the, they're like electric boots. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, they are. Hello? Okay, here's the thing. I've lost the wedding rings and I'm due to deliver them to the chapel in three minutes. Find them and I'll tell you where your next memory card is. Use the metal detectors and look around the flags. Got it? Yep. Yeah. Bye. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Use one of these things. Ah. Can you hear anything? Yeah. It will go beep, beep, beep. I don't know a teacup. <laughs> <laughs> This is impossible. I don't even understand. This could take hours. This could take years. This is fucked. This is bullshit. I don't know if it's in between the flags. Mine doesn't even work. I know, mine's not working either. When you wrote this, I was like, oh, thank God, I need a clue. Hello? Alana. The metal detectors do work, honey. I said around the flags. That's what I mean. You said in between the flags. We're looking in between. No, the... no, 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 no. I said around, honey, not between. I'm taking a grand from the briefcase to speed things up. Search around those random things on the beach. Yeah, it's, it's at the things like around the, on the beach. So the what? Like on random shit on the beach, like this thing, like just random stuff. It's got to be in here somewhere. It has to be. It has to be. I did! Wait, get... Uh, yeah, that's it. It's so free. now we need one more. Yep. So there could be one around the bottle? Yeah, there's one around here. One around. I'm taking it. 
sun glows. <laughs> no, it is. Yes, there it is. I don't know how those guys actually scour the beach looking for stuff. I was like over like two minutes, man. Okay, yep. The bride's gone mental over the broken leg, and now I'm banned from the ceremony. Take the rings and get over to the marina. The chapel happens to be on the water. I mean, you've got to love the Gold Coast. Now, have a look for some jet skis to get you to it. You'll also find some more appropriate outfits. Now, go, go, go. Where are we running? Just run down here or something. I don't have any of... You all right? You want to carry something? What? No, I'm sorry. We have a picture of the pursuit. Sam, he's ready to serve. He's going to kill somebody. They're down on the desk. See real life happen in the blink of an eye. When you ride shotgun with the boys in blue. World's wildest police videos tonight at 10 after the contender on Fox 8. Ambassadors told us that there were two bags sitting there. And um, we opened up the bags, and Stuart had this nice long white shirt, you know, black jeans, and I had this ugly, frilly apricot thing, and it was so ugly, and it looked like it was from the op shop. Hello? Mr. Little Boy is waiting for you at the side of the chapel. Now, the ceremony is about to start, so get in the rings and wait at the back of the chapel. I'll be in touch with how to get your final memory card. Now, remember, the memory cards lead you to the briefcase of cash. Oh, and uh, you might want to keep your phone on silent. Take it from me. The bride will have you for breakfast. Stu drove again. <laughs> yep, and I jumped on the back, and he was getting pelted in the face by Red. You got the rings? Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. Thank you. Okay. You guys can't come in just like that. All right? Um, you gotta just now you gotta stay here. Just stay here, right? Yeah. Stay here and I don't know. Wait for your instructions. Your final memory card is locked in a box somewhere on the chapel. One of the guests at Little Boy's wedding has the key. You'll find it hanging from a bracelet. But be discreet. If you're too rowdy, Little Boy will boot you out. You've got five minutes before your ride leaves, so good luck. One of the next things on one of the outside, but we need to get a key off someone in here. It's got the key hanging off one of their pieces of jewellery. We've got to get it off. We didn't know what to expect, and we get out there, and and there's this full wedding going on. Like we're both pissing out, we're both pissing ourselves. Could not believe it. It's like old ladies, like like family, all staring at us. Like what are these two young people doing here? So I start walking around the chapel, checking out all the chicks for jewelry. Like even the old ladies, I was just fully like going up to them, like fully checking them out for jewelry. Dude, I'll get you married. Stuart, like, kept walking, like, right up the front, and I could see little boy getting really angry. It's like, oh, my God, this guy's going to punch you in, in, like, in a second. And I was like, shit, Stuart, what are you doing? Come back.
Yeah. No, I just caught it on the uh, corner of my eye. She had a key hanging off her anklet, and I was like, oh, my oh, God, that's it. Ran around the back and there was like this box there. Unlocked that and, and whipped it open. It was kind of like underneath the boat, but I could see the memory stick. So he just kind of like jumped in, grabbed it, and we're like, yes, yeah, we got it. Is there another one in there? It's gone right, gone right, gone right. It's gone, gone, gone. <laughs> Leaned down and grabbed the memory stick, which was, and it was awesome. Like, we, it was like, sick, we got a memory stick finally. And see, you know, we missed out on one. It's like, oh, cool. We could see this gondola going on the river. So, you know, we waved him over. It was a bit rocky when um, Stuart put one of his feet and it was kind of like, I thought it was going to sink for a second. This is pretty nice, though. <laughs> You've just collected your final memory card. Yeah. Yep. Good. Because you're about to put them to use. You see the black computerized box on the gondola. Insert the memory cards into the black box and study the pictures that appear on the screen. They'll lead you to the cache. Now, when you work at the location, tell your gondola man. He'll only leave when you have the right destination. What's that? It's a pin. That's a bobby pin. A red sea. Oh, we need four. Ah! What's that? Is it race indie track? Indie, yeah. Bobby yeah. indie track. It's a duty, yeah. It's so yeah. This is hard. This is hard. This is hard. Well, it's an indie track. That's where we want to go. You need to say exactly where, though. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. We need the fourth one. We need the fourth one. Oh, this is fucked, oh, warm. you need some help. I can tell you. Price tag, five grand. <laughs> I'll call you back for your decision. We can buy another memory card that costs us five grand. But that's the thing is, if we don't get the SIM card, we don't get the money, don't we? So we may as well do it, do we? Or we're just going to have to. Okay. Yeah. Time's up. Tell the gondola driver to take you to the hairpin turn on the indie track. You were so close, but close enough equals not good enough in my game. We need to go to the indie track hairpin bend. We need to go to the hairpin bend at the indie track, man. Sweet. Well, is this if we ever would have, is if I would have got that? Is if I would have gone this? I never would have oh, known that. It has to be something. Off. We haven't lost that much all day. With the toughest lineup in poker history, who will be the first to make their mark? Will it be the creepy glasses dude? The woman who doesn't speak? And the jacket? Or Mr. Craw? And when 2.5 mils on the line, you don't want to take the walk of shame. Professional Poker Tour, coming up next on Fox 8. waiting for us. Hello. Hello. Hey, lady. 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 Hey, lady.
ladies. The gold coast Indy. Cheers. Hi guys, you played great together, but this is where the teamwork ends. Only one of you can win the cash. Oh. Separate into different sections of the stand. Let's go. Oh, this is gonna suck if you get the money. I'm gonna kill you. No way one of us is just gonna get this, you know, because we've been through everything together. I just thought, oh my God. Nah, I don't want to split up. I was like, if I lose, I'll be so devoted. I'll now ask a series of questions. If you've paid attention throughout the game, you'll know the answers. Now, the first person to get three questions correct will be let down onto the track and led to the briefcase of cash. Good luck. Ready, ready, set, set go! In your skydiving riddle, three colours were mentioned. What were they? What's the pin code for your first memory card? At the floating chapel, what colour was a bridesmaid's dress? I saw Stuart got up and run, and I was like, that's it, it's over, I lost. So I was like, oh, whatever. What type of car did I drive away in at the bus stop? I got off first, I got out of there first. I, like, I totally didn't think I would at all. Yeah, bro, stop. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm dropping in here, you? my ugly dress. And I saw Stuart, like, jump on this boat and he, like, sailed across and I was like, oh, he's going to get to the briefcase first. Hey, brother. I can see ya. Yep, that's me on the boat, buddy. Congratulations. Thanks, man, thanks. One last thing to do for me. Yeah. Decide if you want to keep the 17 grand for yourself or share it with Alana. I'd rather share it with Alana. Your choice, my friend. 
but you need to call her now and tell her what you're going to do. All right, mate. Cheers, buddy. See ya. Hello, Lana, it's Stewie. How are you? Oi. Oi, I got the cash. Yeah. I'm going to split it with you. Are you serious? Yeah. All right, sweet. All right, come over, come over. I'm coming over. I'll see you soon. Oh, oh, oh. I couldn't have done it without Alana. We both deserve it. We both did the game. My dad um, passed away about like two months ago of cancer, so that was pretty sad. And I know that my dad would be love like loving this. Show me it. Hi. Drove off his boat. <laughs> what? Like, what do you want to do with the cash? I'm like, oh, I'll split it with her. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, fuck! You played the whole game, man. Like. He shared the money, I believe, because we did get on pretty well. Like we were there the whole time. Like we did everything together. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty cute. He's pretty genuine, so... Especially what he did at the end of the show, that that meant a lot to me, so... Alana, yeah, she's cute. Oh, yeah. She's awesome chick, so... Yeah, see what happens. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs>